What's up, what's going on guys? It's Steamy Armpit Bass. Just giving an updated review on my custom ice box I made for my four amps. I got a uh, six amps total, uh, two of them aren't installed right now. But I got uh, two Hyphonics, uh, 2000.1Ds, BRXs. Uh, I got a BRX 160.2 there and I got an Interfire 2900C on the other side. Anyway, so this is a storage bin from uh, Home Depot. Uh, when you do this, you're definitely gonna want some kind of bracing. If you notice up under here, I do have a uh, uh, one inch wide, quarter inch thick uh, aluminum or uh, stainless steel bracing. I've got locking washers, nuts, and uh, regular washers to not put too much pressure on these uh, plastic mounts on the amps. Now I do have the uh, the backs off the amps uh, to increase airflow. I think this one's on down here. I've got the uh, two Hyphonics BRXs actually inverted like that. Uh, we have Fry's Electronics up here in uh, uh, right above Atlanta where I stay. And uh, there's basically a big computer store, really nice. You can get all kinds of fans for the low. I like these LED ones. These things are pretty sweet. LEDs incorporated in. You turn it on, it, it glows. Uh, basically, with this setup, it's a push-pull uh, type setup. People always ask, does it work? Does it work? It works so good. My amps run so efficient. They don't even get, man, screw hot. They don't even get really warm to the touch. Here's the setup right here. I got one lower one right here. Of course, this is sucking in. This guy's sucking in. This guy's sucking in. This guy's blowing down. He's sucking in. Big Daddy on top. It's like 120 millimeter. This guy puts out a hurricane. So it's a push-pull method. And I have two different kinds of uh, two different kinds of computer uh, fans right here. And you need to know the difference because it's important. Because when I first did this, I didn't know the difference. Okay. So you have regular fans that you find. Uh, that just uh, kind of push air, but they push air in an open environment. That's what this guy is. That's what this guy is. I got this tiny one right here on this uh, IB 2900C right here. You have just regular fans, and then you have what's called uh, static pressure fans. Okay, what the difference is, is let's say you're trying to move a lot of air through a really tight enclosed space. You're not going to use one of these regular ones. This guy's big. He does put out a lot of uh, uh, CFMs per minute but it's not the same as a static pressure fan. A static pressure fan is when there's, when there's pressure behind the fan that it's building and it forces air through. The difference is, is it's, it's almost like, a, it's almost kind of like comparing a Honda four cylinder VTEC uh, that's built with a lot of horsepower. So eventually it, uh, horsepower helps it keep going fast, you know, to a V8. You know, at 12, 1300 RPMs on most V8s, you just get straight torque. Now, these guys are torquey. If you could feel on the back side of here, this guy's a static fan right here. It doesn't matter if uh, if I didn't have this one outlet right here and it was only a quarter inch uh, or like a, a quarter sized uh, outlet. This guy's going to force air up and out of that. So, this guy's going beast mode right now. Now, th this guy's good. These are good, but nothing like static fans. Uh, if I go back, I'd probably do that. I'd probably still have these LED things, but these fans you can get anywhere from. I think that guy was like twelve or thirteen dollars. These guys were like six or seven. Uh, this static fan I actually got for free. Uh, I found it in the trash. Believe it or not, it's brand new. Uh, and these guys were like four or five dollars. Fry's Electronics is definitely the place to check out. Uh, it is. Uh, this top does come off like this. I usually have screws in right here. But as far as an enclosed space, if uh, if you're pushing a lot of watts. If you got big boy amps or whatever, I know a lot of the uh, super class D's nowadays don't have built in fans. Uh, and Georgia gets hot around here in the summer, prone to overheating a lot. So, uh, nothing better than sucking in here, here, everywhere else. I'm, back, I'm about to add another one on the back facing this way. And then this monster right here. Uh, when I first did it, I had this guy actually mounted on top of here, uh, thinking it would you know, be cumulative. Uh, the CFMs would add together, it doesn't. It actually disrupts the airflow. This guy puts out so much like this. So these guys are rated at 12 volt. The beautiful thing is my custom Singer uh, alternator that he built for my rodeo. Takes those bad boys up to almost uh, in my distribution block in the back. Uh, usually up around uh, 15, uh, which is crazy. You don't want to go 18 or 20 because these dudes end up catching on fire or frying out. But you got to think higher voltage more output just like your amps. That's why these Hyphonics BRX 2000s are putting out more than rated. It's because I'm sitting here at what? Where's it at? Almost 14.75. 
is insane right now if you can feel the wind coming out of this guy. So this thing's dope and you can do it cheap too. Cheap, cheap, cheap. You just want to stabilize everything. Like this guy is mounted. Uh, of course the back's off. If you notice, look, it's mounted up through here. It goes up through the uh, regular mounting screws and that guy's rock solid. I have distribution blocks. I have every one of these guys run off one regular 10 amp 12 volt switch. So this is uh, probably the best uh, amp racking system as far as cooling I've ever seen. Everyone has their own thing, but as far as uh, getting the, the job done for cheap, being extremely efficient and functional, that's the way to go right here. It's dope. Uh, comment below if you got any questions or anything or how I can help you out. All right, see ya.